fruit. Yeah, so literally all it took was one Google search, high carb raw vegan, and like this all pops up. You know, like yeah. ev all of all of us all here. All of this pops up. That's right. <laughs> all these superstars, all these amazing people. And it was like instant light bulb. Like I just knew, like I knew that this was going to be for me and this is this is what was going to really help me heal and get past things and um it proved right use the coupon code comfort yourself and you get a hundred dollars off at the woodstock fruit festival next year how much sense does this make look at this huh Mm. All right, so understand this. This is why I love fruitarianism. It makes sense. Fruitarianism makes sense. So you pick up, you pick up fruit off the vine, okay? You eat it. You walk around the dirt or dirt, wherever nature is. You poop. It grows more tomato vines. This was not planted. This bush it was, it's called the volunteer plant it just grows up voluntarily because there's a seed in there why is there a seed in there because we were juicing tomatoes last year or a couple years ago whenever my mom was juicing tomatoes after she took out the pulp there's some seeds in there she put the pulp in here and it grew a tomato plant but if you walk around in nature and you eat a bunch of papayas and you poop out a bunch of papaya seeds papaya trees are gonna be growing everywhere look at this papaya tree baby I got put papaya trees growing in Canada people say you can't grow tropical trees in Canada not true you can grow them, they probably won't produce, but you can grow them. But if this was warm enough, they'd be producing papayas as well, eventually. But with these tomatoes, it's like, man. Mm. You grow the food, eat the food, poop out the food, it grows more food. There's never going to be a shortage of food because the food that you eat is the food that you grow. You don't even need to worry about growing food. Like in nature, you just, everything grows, everything you poop out, or all the seeds and pits that you throw, they grow, man. The food you eat is the food you grow. So, it just, fraternism makes sense, man. You don't need to, like, have all these fields of, like, you know, potatoes and rice and stuff. That stuff is not, that stuff you have to, like, go outside your way and plant. But fruit, man, you know, whatever you eat, you, you grow. Rice and potato fields, they take up so many acres and acres and acres of land. And they produce very few calories compared to, you know, avocado acres and banana acres and papaya acres and apple acres and pear acres. The amount of calories you get on an acre of pear trees or an acre of apple trees is way more than an acre of a rice and potato fields. But anyways, I don't want to knock the uh, rice and potato fields too much because there's worse things in life, but I'm not hating, just saying, for real, for real, fruitarianism is the most ecologically sound thing you could do. It's the most environmentally friendly thing you could do. Like, you just grow the food, you eat the food, and you grow the food, and you eat the food, and you grow the food. The food that you eat is food that you grow. You put it in your mouth, swallow it, enjoy yourself, go take a poop, enjoy yourself taking a poop, and it grows more food for you. Mmm. I'm on top of like an apartment right now, man. And you can grow food anywhere. Life wants to be here. You can seriously eat this all day long. And in fact, there's another one over here. Different kind of plant. Look at that, huh? The zucchini or something. These ones are really good too. Little yellow ones. Mmm. Dude, for real. So good. Like, the best. Honestly, man. Honestly, it's not fair. It's not fair. Why do I get to have all this good food? How come how come no one else is eating this right now? Like, oh my goodness. These are the most flavorful things ever. Mmm. Mmm. Dude. Literally, right off the vine. And uh seriously. Mmm. Feeling divine. Eat from the vine, feel the vine. Eat fruit, feel beaut. Live in line with nature's design, bruh. Feel great every time, bruh. Mm-hmm.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, that makes sense. Eat the food. Who about the food? It grows more food. Food that we eat, the food that you grow. People say, oh Ted, if everyone ate fruit, if everyone ate fruit, there wouldn't be enough food on the planet. What are you talking about, man? Every time you eat fruit, you grow like 10 times more of it. It is the most bountiful thing on the planet. Especially when we're talking about like non-seasonal fruits, you know, like the papayas and the bananas that grow all year round. Mmm. Those things don't even need a season, man. They're just there for you 24-7. 365. Well, anyways, I just wanted to show you this. And how obvious it is. Like, human walks along, human picks up fruit. Human eats the fruit. Human loves the fruit. Human eats a whole bunch of the fruit. A few hours later, human needs to take a poop. Human takes a poop. A few hours later, it starts growing. Right, it's beautiful. I just love fruitarianism. I love being a raw vegan, man. And people say like, why are you raw vegan? And yeah, it makes sense, but just because it makes sense doesn't mean people do it. But honestly, I hate being a hypocrite. I hate saying one thing and doing another. I would hate to say like, this is the best, but I'm gonna justify it by not doing it and say like, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do it by justifying and say this like, dude, if something's the best, just go for it. Set the example. I don't want to. I don't want to say like, yeah, fruitarian is the best, but I'm not going to do it because X, Y, and Z. I don't want to come up with reasons not for doing something that's the best. I just want to find out the way to do it. And for me, diff has definitely been a struggle, man. Like initially, the first few years of this diet, definitely a struggle. I totally understand why there are very few fruitarians left, raw vegans left, because it's like 2016, North America. You're a weirdo if you eat just fruit. You're a weirdo. Um, the fruit's expensive. Nobody else is doing it. The fruit's usually like so-so quality unless you grow it yourself. Um, John Kohler knows what's up when it comes to high quality fruit. Shout out to John Kohler. Sorry I missed you at the Woodstock Fruit Festival, man. I love John Kohler's high standards for when it comes to high quality fruit. It's a shame that he got the boot at the Woodstock, but wasn't my call. Personally, I would have given him a warning and said, bro, next time, talk to me behind the scenes and please make that video private. I wouldn't have said, you're banned. But I totally understand why it had to happen. Heat of the moment, bad timing. Anyways, this video is not about that. This video is about high quality fruit. And, um, why it's so hard to be fruitarian for some people is because the fruit isn't super super high quality. If the fruit was always this high quality in the supermarkets and it was like always super super available and always like super super low price, then it would be way more conducive to, to eat living and eating this way. Um, but it's not, so you really have to want it. You really have to want to be a raw vegan if you want to succeed as a raw vegan. You really gotta want it, man. It, uh, it doesn't come easy for a lot of people right off the bat. Unless people are born into it, then it's like the only thing they know. When you're born into something and it's the only thing you know, then it's very, very easy to do. It's like cooked food. Cooked food for some people is so easy because it's all they know. They don't, they don't even realize that they're addicted to it. I definitely didn't realize I was addicted to cooked food. And if someone like myself came up to me eight years ago and said, hey, Ted, you're addicted to boiled carrots or steamed broccoli, I would have said, this guy is on crack. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a weirdo. Block, delete, unsubscribe. So, alas, here I am, seven years into this diet. And I'm telling people that, hey man, I was once definitely addicted to cooked food, but I found a way out of being hooked on cooked, and I did that by focusing on the fruit. And you don't need to be aware that you have an addiction to have an addiction. You know, you don't need to be aware of an addiction to have an addiction. You can just, it's all you know. You know, he's smoking since birth, eating cooked food since birth. So it's all, it's all people know. Only once they try and stop it, then they, they realize, you know. Only once they try and like, walk away from the balls and chains, they realize that they're, they're chained back there. Um, it's like when people are in a relationship, man, they, if they fall in love, they're in love, they're, they're going, you know, they're getting married, all these things, 30 years later, they, they don't, they're they not getting along, they've realized for the past 10 years they haven't gotten along, but they don't really get a divorce because they're sort of dependent on each other. So they don't really realize how dependent they are until they try and leave. Um, so it's kind of like that with cooked food as well, man. 
But anyways, there's a lot to be gained from eating a fruitarian raw vegan diet. So I'd encourage you to focus on the benefits. A low fat fruitarian diet has many, many benefits, some of which are no body odor, uh, better night sleeps, uh, way better hydrated, so therefore much better skin. Um, another another benefit would be just better mood, man. Higher frequency food, higher frequency mood. Another one, obviously, easier digestion. You know, this stuff just rubs right into the skin. It's super, super easy to break down, super, super easy to absorb and utilize. Um, another benefit is just feeling light, you know, just always super, super light, super lightweight. And uh, maintaining your ideal body weight is super easy on this diet, man. Super easy to maintain your ideal body weight. For sure, um, people have an issue. Most people, man, most people's default is like being overweight, and it's like hard for them to lose weight. On raw veganism, the default is like just being at your perfect body weight, and like the the hard part is like gaining weight. You know, mm. so like perfect body weight all year round, um, unless you drastically change up your training. Um, there's another benefit is the energy to actually train, the motivation to actually train. It's just without any stimulants, without any caffeine, no drugs. So anyways, that's just a few of the benefits. Um, thanks for watching. And hope to see you sometime in the near future, maybe at the festival or something, Woodstock Fruit Festival. Use the coupon code Comfort Yourself, and you get $100 off at the Woodstock Fruit Festival next year. And if you're watching this before October 1st, 2016, then I'll see you at the Vegan World Summit. Go to veganworldsummit.com, use the coupon code Comfort Yourself, and you get a 25% off the ticket there. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Peace the ARF out. I'm in Vancouver, Canada right now. Beautiful place to be, early September.